Okay, so yes, I am so freaking excited to be with Caitlin Bristow um, here in New Mexico because um, we're going to actually be helping as mentors and support, like ultimate girl gang, girl power for Katie, the bachelorette. Mm -hmm. Um, so basically, I mean, you guys remember on my season when I had a lot of bachelorettes come and visit and kind of help me out. Well, basically we're going to be doing the same thing. So Katie's going to be on this journey and we're going to be there by her side whenever she needs us essentially. So we'll maybe might host like a date or two or whatnot, but honestly, we're just here to help her out. Um, we're just mentors, if you will. Um, and this this journey is hard, you know, and when you have girls, it makes it a lot easier. Girls understand what you're going through. Right. So, so to clarify, Chris mm-hmm. Harrison will not be here this season. No, Chris Harrison There's, will not be here this season, but that doesn't mean he's not coming back. So, right. He won't be here this season. So there will be no official host. We have the girl gang, mm-hmm. Tasha and Caitlin Bristow, who's going to be there to help her on her journey, to answer these questions, to be like, look, boo, we did this and let's help you become Bay, get a bay like us. I mean, <laughs> this basically, is this is basically. Twist. I mean, we know how it goes. You know what I mean? And yep. it's a very hard process to navigate. I'm sure you all could imagine. And mm-hmm. at times, you want to just ring a friend. Well, guess what? Yes. Ring a ding ding. I'm right here. Let me help you on out. Okay. So are, not are only. Huh? Are you in New Mexico right now? <laughs> I'm in New Mexico. <laughs> You could tell she's been. You could tell she's been in a hotel room. She's all fired up over there, <laughs> screaming, yelling. I, you guys, this is quarantine's a, this is a, no joke. I'm telling you, I've been here for like five weeks. I swear, that's what it feels like. But I, I think this is actually a really nice advantage for Katie. Like now, she really could pick your brain, could pick Caitlin's brain, and you two went through this process. So wait, are you guys going to be like good cop, bad cop? <laughs> You should. Um, you should. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, well, should. okay. Will I be the good cop or the bad cop? You'll definitely be the good cop. Yeah, sure. you'll be the good cop. Yeah. <laughs> but I also like to have some fun and stir some stuff up. So we'll see what happens. But all right. So you know, what kind of advice are you going to give her on night one? That's it. I, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know up, where I was going. I was going to go like, the, I was going to keep going. Is, if Joe I mean, shows up, don't send him home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I will definitely say, you know, well, night one was very different for me. So that's another reason why it's fun to also have Caitlin. Like, Right. You guys have to also realize Caitlin and I had very similar journeys, oddly enough. Like she also shared night one with another bachelorette. Yeah. And so did I, essentially. Yeah. I mean, like well, the guys yeah, were already true. there and then I came in and I was just like, what's up? Like it was very untraditional. Yeah. And we're just going to keep, you know, spicing up every season. And I feel like that's what we're going to kind of be for Katie. But I... um basically i'm just gonna let her do her thing but i'll definitely keep my eyes out and like watch these guys and kind of just like shed light where it need be at the end of the day the show's freaking about love and honestly we want people to be happy and be in a relationship i'm extremely happy and that's all i want for everybody else so if i can help katie yeah. get there caitlin's also really happy with jason like yep. i think yeah. we have like the best crew all right so okay so i'll be katie right now okay so oh, oh lord don't. <laughs> right, it's, oh night, it's night one. T- Joe Tasha, likes to I, role play. T- t- <laughs> he does, doesn't Tasha. he? Tasha, oh, Tasha, Tasha, Tasha. I need your advice. Yeah, what's up? I think I love um, John. I think I love John. <laughs> well, and I want to. I, I think I just want to go home with him. Should I just uh, do that right now? I mean, we have one. another bachelorette coming. So, what difference does it make? He's, I just love John. <laughs> I would be like, Katie, oh, let's slow it? your roll. Okay. And I mean, like you literally have, and this is in the nicest way possible, a buffet of men that are vying for your heart. Take it slow. Let's just see what you have here. Also, you know, clearly going after the type that you're used to is not working out for you. So let's just be open to everything else. You know what I mean? Ooh, wow, wow. Tasha, Th- thank you. Good. Th- thank you, Tasha. Where's Caitlin? Somebody get me Caitlin. I don't know why I haven't called <laughs> Tasha over here. You know what? I don't know what I'm going to say, but I think that's the best part. It's just like, I'm actually, I feel like I'm going to get like very invested in her process and or, yeah. or, or like her journey. And I'm, I'm very excited for her. And I think this is going to be super fun. So, 
Um, yes. There's a lot in store this season. It's going to be freaking good. 